Welcome to the National Votes for Women Trail. This video will give you tips on how to use the map and database so that you can access the over 2,000 sites that are linked to the activists who worked in the women's suffrage movement. Start by going to nvwt.org. This is the home page for the National Collaborative of Women's History Sites. Click on the National Votes for Women trail, and from the drop-down list, click View the Trail. Scroll down to see the map, and you can start to explore. You'll see up here at the top how many sites are currently in the map, and then you can go to the tools on the upper left to zoom in and zoom out. These circles represent the individual sites and the squares are those sites that have the Pomeroy historic markers. You can use your cursor to hover over the sites and you'll see the information. What else you can do is filter the map according to categories name, historic resource, organization, town or city, state, ethnicity, gender, or whether it has a Pomeroy marker. We're going to filter the map for specific information using one of those categories. So you click on Filter Map and this page will come up that has all the categories on the left. You can filter by one at a time. Let's choose state. So we'll go down to the state list, click on that, and then go to the top and click all to deselect. Let's go and choose South Dakota. And on the map, what will appear is the sites in South Dakota. So we'll zoom in. And again, you can hover over the sites to see what the information is on each site. And when you're done, go back over to State and click on the right icon and that clears the filter and goes back to the full map. Now we can see how to use the narrative table to save that information. So you filter your map like we did previously and we'll use South Dakota and then click on the narrative table and this is the screen that comes up. You can see the cities in South Dakota and in the next column we have the names, then dates, then buildings, and in the far right we have the details of the events that occurred at that site. We want to save this information, so go down to the bottom right of the screen, click Download icon. This dialog box comes up. We're going to save it as a PDF file. And here, you should select Dashboard. And just click Download. And the PDF will open in Adobe Acrobat and you can save that PDF file. When you click download that dialog box shows several file types including image file, cross tab file, which is a spreadsheet, so you can save it in other ways. And remember while you're exploring you can always click on the information button and this will show the tools on how to navigate the map. And these are very helpful to know 
as you're zooming in, zooming out, moving around the map. If you click on the gray arrow, you can see other options for how to view the map and to select areas that you want to investigate more. Enjoy exploring the National Votes for Women Trail. It has thousands of sites that represent the stories of a highly diverse group of people who fought for women's suffrage. If you have questions about the trail, you can email membership at ncwhs.org.